Whoever I've got to, you know, destroy and take out of there, I'll do it. I'm on form now, and um, my confidence and everything is just right up there. You heard my boy Dynamite. He said he wants all the smoke, and he destroys them all, man. Anybody can get it, you know what I'm saying? And I agree with him, man. I think that he's a beast. He is a champion, so put some respect on his name. However, there is a slight little problem because the caveat to him being able to fight any other champions is that he may not be able to fight what we think as the fans would be his best opposition and most suitable opposition, which we will get into in this video. Stay tuned. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxing Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PG NGM. Praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. So Daniel Dubois, as you heard earlier, you know, he said that he wants all the smoke. He's at the top of his form. He's willing to take out anybody and everybody at any given moment as long as the opportunity presents itself and it makes sense. And you're not bothered if it's Joshua again or if it's Wardley next? Whoever I've got to, you know, destroy and take out of there, I'll do it. Yeah, whoever I've got to destroy and, you know, take out of their misery, we'll, we'll do it. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? You know, and a lot of people are saying, hey, man, you have that date, February 22nd in particular, that he's looking forward to securing and as well as his uh, promoter. Uh, Frank Warren and Queensberry, they're looking forward to ha having that date as their own, you know, with or without Anthony Joshua, who doesn't seem like he really wants the rematch right now at this moment because he's anticipating the to get the winner, or I should say even if the loser, because if Tyson Fury loses, I'm still sure that he would want that fight. You know, he wants to see what happens with Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury with that rematch, see where the chips fall there. And that's understandably so because Anthony Joshua is trying to make the most out of his career now, you know, especially when it's coming towards the end. So, you know, Know, that puts Daniel Dubois leaving needing an opponent right well Joseph Parker has recently stood up you know and say hey man I'll take that spot you know but Daniel Dubois has also voiced that he wants to fight you know Alexander Usyk for a rematch or potentially fight Tyson Fury as well preferably the winner so he can get uh, his shot at undisputed glory right well Tyson Fury said hey man you know I'm not fighting Daniel Dubois what that's because the IBF doesn't have me ranked. Now, I can get into that a little further, but you got to come to the live stream. I talked about it this morning. I don't mind diving into it again, but those minor details is quite a bit. So it's, it's a lot to cover in one video, but you know, ultimately he said he's not fighting for the IBF because he feels disrespected because they don't have him in his top 15 rankings. And he's right. It's like, how do you not have Tyson Fury, arguably the number two heavyweight right now, not in that, uh, uh, not ranked at all in the top 15 of the IBF, you know what I'm saying? Now it's a little politics, a little things that you got to abide by. But like I said, once again, come to the live stream, we'll, we'll get into that, but he's not in the top 15 rankings and you know who else is not there? Another similar issue is Joseph Parker, who said he's ready and willing to fight Daniel Dubois for his IBF strap, but He's not in the top 15 rankings either. And that's because he is a WBO interim champ. Yes, Alexander Usyk is the real champ, but because Joseph Parker is an interim champion, you know, the interim just describes, it's just an adjective for what kind of champion he is. He is a champion and because he is a champion, he's not gonna be included in the other sanctioned bodies in their rankings at all. So, you know, uh, according to Michael Benson in Talk Sport and, 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 and Sky Sports and some other uh, uh, boxing media outlets, the IBF has declared that while it is a voluntary defense for Daniel Dubois, he only has the ability to pick from 12 people that are available. And you can see right here that in the IBF rankings, it's 13 people. But of course, when you remove Anthony Joshua, since he's ranked there, he's not available for the rematch. And then you consider that they have two vacant uh, 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 positions. One and two are both vacant, right? Then that leaves 12 other people and the lists are here. So as you see what that list is right there, then, you know, his opponents aren't really too compelling. And that's because, not because they're not intriguing. Who wouldn't want to see Daniel Dubois versus Martin Bacoli? You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the beast out of the Democratic Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo or see him against Ajit Kabeel, the beast out of Germany. You know what I'm saying? We want to see those fights. But Ajit, who is legit, you know, he's a beast. He's fighting against Martin Bacoli, the beast out of the Democratic Republic of Congo. You know what I'm saying? Big up to another African nation holding it down for the heavyweight division. But that's a great fight right there. And they're in talks. So automatically those two are removed, you know. So next up, as the guys that were interviewing Daniel Dubois were saying, was maybe Fabio Worley. He could fight F.A. Jogba, you know what I'm saying? The beast out of Nigeria. He, he could, um, he could fight Guido Vianello, the beast out of Italy. But it's like, that's still not a intriguing fight for the casual boxing fan and i think that they're 
I don't think anybody would disagree that it's not as at as appealing as appealing as the potential fight between Tyson Fury and especially Joseph Parker right now. You know, so you know, um, I think that when you consider those things, well, then if you're gonna fight F.A. Job or Guido Vianello or Justice Hooney or 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 um, Frank Sanchez, a lot of them coming off of losses like Jeremy Baby Anderson as well. If you're gonna fight those guys, then you might as well fight, you know, a domestic bruv and Fabio Worley. But the thing with that is. Nobody really knows Fabio Worley like that. No disrespect to him. He just came off of a great one round destruction of Fraser Clark. You know what I'm saying? That, and that was a good performance. But, you know, his first fight with him was a draw. And that's pro that's, that's arguably his most notable win. And Fraser Clark's not really known like that out of out of his local area of Britain. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I would say probably uh, Fabio Worley's best win is David Adelaide or Eric Molina. Eric Molina is probably his most accomplished opponent. You know, Eric Molina, you know, he fought for championships and he was a f former title holder. But David Adelaide probably his most notable recent win. But that's still not enough when you compare to Daniel Dubois. And I think Daniel Dubois destroys him, like he said. So I just wanted to cover that right there, man. I think that Fabio Worley would get, you know, the uh, the British Commonwealth, you know what I'm saying, in the UK excited. But I don't know from a global perspective if we would really want to see uh, Dynamite versus Fabio Worley. However, I think it would be a Dynamite might in a banger of a fight for real because they're both heavy hitters and i think fabio worthy would accept the challenge but i just think that there's more appealing fights out there and i'm hoping that joseph parker would be able to be accepted by the ibf as a challenger for daniel dubois because that's the most intriguing fight for me right now uh, i would i would be cool with fabio worthy too i think daniel dubois wins that i think daniel dubois beats uh, joseph parker as well but joseph parker coming off of wins of deontay wilder and zay Le zang i think that he deserves a title shot you know what i'm saying and and him being an interim title holder shouldn't not be a realistic reason to justify uh, uh discriminating against him in his, his in his well-deserved title shot you know what i'm saying and hopefully he doesn't have to vacate but that is probably what he'll have to do he'll probably have to vacate the interim wbo title in order for the ibf to accept him as a suitable challenger for their champion in daniel dubois y'all let me know what y'all think about that man i just want to give you all the news of the heavyweight division and yeah don't forget to like the video but most importantly remember with god we can do anything without god or nothing drop in the comments who you would rather see daniel dynamite dubois fight fabio worley joseph parker or somebody else entirely the doc is out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.